Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing the CNU campus tour. Um, if you are a current exchange student at Cheonam National University, this is your guide to campus. And as I'm walking around campus, I'm also going to add a map right here onto the right side of the screen. And I'm going to have a red dotted line taking you guys where I'm walking, just so you can have a reference point whenever you do get um, a CNU map. Um, I think that this will definitely be helpful for you to find other classes. So the first thing you'll notice about the CNU campus map is areas A, B, and C. So each of these is just a letter, but these letters do also reference to the buildings. So each building at CNU is going to have a blue plaque on it at the top or like on the side of it. And it's going to have the letter, the corresponding letter and a number. And that's how you find your building. So for example, B06 is going to be the Jin Lee building. Other places that you should know on campus is the playground, which is um, the track field. And then we also have the pond. And of course, we have the GNR hub, the dorm, which is uh, dorm nine, that where most exchange students are going to be located. And then we also have the student union, student union one to be specific. Let's get started right here at the front gate of Chonam National University. There are many gates to get into campus, but this is the main gate. Coming up here on the right side is going to be the playground, which I previously mentioned. This place is very popular for students and even just elders and community members to come and walk, run, do exercise, picnic. It's basically a family playground, hence the name. On the left here, you'll see the statue, which you can also see on the CNU map. And I'm going to turn around real quick right here so that you can get a better image of the track field. Next, let's make our way uphill. Um, again, I'm going to show you guys the blue pack right there that says B01, which again, you'll be finding this on all buildings on campus. Going up here, we're going to go to the student union number one. Um, this is going to be your primary student union. This is where you'll find the Guangzhou Bank, where you can come and make your own account. You can also find the delivery services here. There's going to be the bookstore here where you will find all your books that you need for class. And this is also going to be where the student health center is at. Um, that's where you'll come do your x-ray at the beginning of the semester. And then you'll see me circle um, a building on the map too. That'll be student union one, which is D20. Making our way to the left here, you will see a white building. This is B10 known as Library Annex or better known to students as the White Library. So this library is going to be the library that opens the latest, which is past midnight. And I believe this is also the more outdated library out of the three libraries that we have at CNU. In this whole green area where the white statue is at, this is known as the Bonji. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a very popular place for students to come and picnic. And students usually stay away past 12 so be part of that fun we have here the red library or it's also known as the main library um, it's this red brick building right here next to that is going to be our digital library now let me take you guys inside just to see how you get in so for all the libraries you're going to have this thing you just scan your student id and you'll see a green light flash and you're good to go that's how you scan to get in and that's how you scan to get out on this little corner here, we're going to have a big map of CNU campus. It's also the same map that I'm showing you guys too. So if you ever get lost, find one of these maps and hopefully you'll remember this video and find your way there. And on the side of the College of Education Building 1 here, we have a mural of the May 18th Uprising, which is a very significant event that happened in Guangzhou. And it's something that we place a lot of emphasis here on CNU campus. All right, now we're going to start getting downhill from here. We're going to go towards the dorm nine and we're going to have a couple of buildings here on the right and the left. I'm not going to name all of them, but on the very uh, left here is the newest um, education building. And I'm going to turn around here just to show you guys these emergency lights. If you ever feel unsafe on campus, press this button. All right, so we have finally arrived at dorm nine. Um, here we have four buildings at dorm nine. We have A and B, which is on the left here, which is for males, and then C and D, which is on the right, which is for females. 
in the center of Dormnai, we have a couple restaurants, cafes, and other services available, which you can go watch my CNU dormitory tour for more information on that. Now I'm gonna take you guys this way into this little route that's going to take you to the GNR hub, which is absolutely necessary to know. just want to make a note if you want to make a right here that will lead you down a road that will lead you to the college of education building that i previously talked about uh, but on this side we're going to go towards the GNR hub uh, right behind the GNR hub if you go behind the building there's going to be a gate to exit the university and if you make a left at this gate you'll see um, a bus station and this is the bus station that i usually take to go to downtown all right so we are here at the GNR Hub. This is going to be a very important building for all exchange and international students. The international office is here. This is where you'll come to your ARC, any paperwork, um, field trips, if you need to pick up things or sign papers or get an excuse letter. This is also where you'll be taking your evening classes if you sign up for free language evening classes. It's going to be at the basement floor of this building. And you can also come print stuff here too um, at the GNR Lounge. And this right here is going to be the door to the office. So this is where you go meet Ms. Kong or any other coordinators that you have. Alright, back to home base which is Storm 9. Now instead of making a right, we're going to make a left. We're going to go down this way. And this is going to be where you will find Alibaba which is a wonderful coffee shop. And you'll probably see this girl right here, Samaya. Shout out to Samaya. And then right next to Alibaba is going to be CU. There's a printing station and CU as well. And you may or may not have noticed, but I've changed map to the neighbor map instead of the CNU map just because now we're going to go off campus. And we'll come back to campus, but for now we're going off. And here I'll be showing you guys a blue dotted line. This is the shortcut of going through um, the apartments to get to the other side of the street. And from there, um, we're going to go walking down the street again too, but I'm just going to go follow the red dotted line for now. The blue dot is literally apartment, so that's why I'm not walking you guys through that part. Alright, so now if we keep walking straight from CU, um, you're going to see a, a couple different restaurants, cafes and stuff here. But I want to point out here, we have a tea world here too. So if the one in dorm 9 is closed, you can come here to pay for your SIM card as well. All right, then we're going to make a left um, on this corner right here. And this is going to take you down a street. Um, this street, if you keep walking again, there's more restaurants and cafes. And this is going to lead you down to the very end where you will see Big's Cafe. And there's going to be a GS25 there as well. Now this one, if you make a left here, um, you're going to go and you're going to enter through the back where you will find the Jin Lee building, which is B06. So now we've made a full round back onto campus. So personally, Jen Lee Building is the building that I had most of my classes. I don't know how it is for other exchange students, but I'm sure this is going to be an important building for you to know as well. Now we're going to take a pause right here real quick just because I wanted to mention something. So backtrack a little, we made a left to get here, but if you made a right there, um, that's where you can go um, if you live in dorm 8. That's one of the pathways that you can take to get to dorm 8. And here I'm showing you on the neighbor map. Alright, let's change gear here real quick and back to our CNU campus map. Here I'm circling the Jin Lee building again, just for your reference. I'm going to show you guys real quick the route that I usually take to come to class. I usually go around um, behind um, the College of Humanities building. And that's how I get to class the quickest. That being said, let's continue on our way down the street. Um, there's a couple of buildings here too, but I won't really talk about them. But here on the right is our College of Administration. And then you keep going down the street. This way, you're going to reach the College of Social Sciences. But if you make a left, it's going to lead you to um, the back of the digital library. So that's also another way that you can enter the digital library, which is actually my favorite of the three. Back to square one, our CNU map. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to take a lot of videos for this part, so we're just going to work with the map. Um, now, if you make a right here at the playground, it's going to lead you to the pond. And if you're walking down that way, you're going to go to D10. Uh, personally, I had a class in D10, which is my Korean reading and writing class. Um, it's across from the CU. And this building right here is going to be the sports center. There's a lot of bus stops here and there's a lot of taxis here. Across the street from here is going to be a very popular shopping and eating area. 
And of course, I can't forget about Daiso, our best friend. Now, there are two ways to get here, but for reference, we have the pond right here, and then we also have the playground to the left. Now, you can come through the east gate, exit there, go down, and then make a right at the street, or you can come through the main gate, which is from the roundabout, keep going straight, and then make a left. And just like that, that's the end of my CNU campus tour. I hope that this video helps uh, incoming Cheonam National University Exchange and international students. Um, I try to keep it as short as possible, so hopefully I got in all the important information and it helps you get around campus a little bit easier. If you do have other questions, feel free to reach out to me or just comment on the video. Other than that, click like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a new video real soon. It's going to be answering your commonly asked questions about my study abroad experience, like what kind of food do I like? How do I travel? Do I find an opa? And stuff like that. But if you have other questions that you would like for me to answer in my next video, feel free to comment down below. Hope to see you next time.